hello everyone and welcome let's solve this tricky exponential equation we are given 1 over 3 all to the power of x equals x plus 4 so what is the value of x now how are you going to do i want you to record that whenever you have 1 1 to the power of any number okay that will give us what that will give us 1 that will give us 1 so i want you to remember that so therefore from here from here okay you can write that as one to the power of one to the power of x divided by three to the power of x you can write it like that and equals x plus what x plus four okay so from there we're going to have one to the power of x to give us one and divide by three to the power of x then equals so we have x plus 4. So we can write this x plus 4 as what? As over 1. Understood? So from there, we are going to have what? We're going to have this going to be 1 over 3x. Let's do cross multiplication. So we're going to have 3x. 3x is going to multiply x plus 4. Then we're going to have 1 times 1. We have 1 here. All right, so moving on, the next thing we're going to do here is that uh, uh, we have x plus 4, and this can be written as x, we can write it as x plus 4, okay, then multiply by 3 to the power of x, then equals what equals 1. Okay, so from here, the next thing I'm going to do is that uh, this x plus 4 that is here, this x plus 4 that is here, I want you to have it here also. I guess now to turn the power of 3 to what to x plus 4. So how am I going to do that? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be multiplying, that is, we multiply this equation by this equation here. We multiply this equation here by what? By 3 to the power of what? 3 to the power of 4. So therefore, we're going to have x plus 4, okay? Then multiply by 3 to the power of x, multiply by to the power of 4 then 1 times 3 to the power of 4 okay so from there we are going to have x plus 4 all right then multiply by 3 to the power of x plus 4 because from the law of indices that's what will happen then equals 1 times 3 to the power of 4 we're going to have 3 to the power of 4 all right so that we can see that we have achieved our goal by making the coefficient of 3 i mean yes and the power of 3 to be what to be x plus 4. now here so the next thing we're going to apply we're going to apply something uh, a function called lambert function where you have a function a you have a function a then e to the power of a and you apply this lambert function on it so this is going to be what this is going to give us a so this is called lambert lambert what this is lambert w what function okay so now applying lambert w function so you can see that there is an introduction of e here so we want to bring out something like e out to this place too so we are going to what we are going to manipulate and see how we can do that all right so now from there the next thing we're going to do from where from here is that we're going to have what x plus four okay is going to be or before that i want you to recall that uh, recall recall that when you have e to the power of ln of a you know that this will give us a because these two are inverse to each other so they are going to be cancelled out so we're going to have a to be a solution out to your result so therefore that's what we are going to do there now doing that the next thing we're going to do is that uh, we are going to pick this we're going to pick we're going to pick this and write it like this understood now this is how we are going to write it we're going to have e to the power of ln of 3 to the power of x plus 4 you know it's 3 to the power of x plus 4 i get it now so you see that this will actually give us 3 to the power of x plus or 3 to the power of x plus 4 so therefore so 
we are going to write what we are interested in this in that equation so that we can be able to apply Lambert W function. So we are not going to use this anymore. Understood? So therefore, this is what we're going to do. So now from there, we're going to have we're going to have x plus four. We have x. We have x plus four. Okay. Then multiply by e to the power of ln of three x plus four. Okay. Then equals we have three to the power of three to the power of four. So if you look at it here, that's what you have. All right. So from there, so uh, you should also remember that from the law of uh, log reading, where you have log of a to the power of b, you know that b will multiply log a. Understood? So you should remember that by doing that, you have x plus four, okay, e to the power of this. We now be multiplying ln of three, so we're going to have we're going to have e to the power of x plus four, x plus four, then ln of three equals three to the power of four. All right. So from there, the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to see now that uh, the Lambert function is like this: when you have a e to the power of a and this will give us so you see that uh, the same thing here okay so therefore and when you look at this you can see that uh, s plus 4 is here s plus 4 is here but ln of 3 is here so we need ln of 3 here too so what are we going to do we are going to multiply ln of 3 by all of these uh, equations so we're going to have what by this equation you're going to have that so this is what we're going to do you multiply ln of what? ln of 3, ln of 3 by x, x plus 4 now, multiplying nl of 3 to the both sides, okay? We have x plus 4, all right, ln of 3, then equals 3 to the power of 4, ln of 3. So we multiply both sides by ln of 3. So we can now see that uh, this and this are now the same. So which now we can apply what we can apply W Lambert function. But can we write the right hand side also in such a way that we can apply Lambert function on the right hand side too? So we can have x plus 4, okay, x plus 4, ln of 3, e to the power of x plus 4, all right, ln of 3. Then equals here we can write three to the power of what three to the power of uh, one multiplied by three to the power of uh, three then ln of what ln of three. Are you with me? So now we can now rewrite it as having three ln of three multiplying three to the power of three. Here we have x plus four. Alright, so from there, the next thing we're going to do is that uh, we're going to have what this right hand side is going to be like 3 ln of 3. Alright, then here also we are going to rewrite this as e ln of 3 to the power of 3. So that uh, you see that this and this cancelled, we are still going to have our result back. But we want to make it to be in uh, exponential form like that. So now from there, you can see that this is still going to be. This is still going to be 3 ln of 3 e to the power of this 3 will come down. We have 3 ln of 3. All right. So we have x plus 4 ln of 3 then e to the power of x plus 4 ln of 3. All right. x plus 4 ln of 3 e to the power of x plus 4 ln of 3. So now from there, let's now apply Lambert function. So putting Lambert function in both sides of the equation like this, Lambert. So we are going to have, or we're going to have this to be, now x plus 4 ln of 3, x plus 4 ln of 3. So now since this is the same thing with this, this is the same thing with this. So that we are going to apply Lambert function is going to be x plus 4 ln of what? ln of 3 equals what? 3 ln of 3. 
So now from here, you can divide both sides by ln of 3. Divide both sides by ln of 3. So see that this will cancel this, this will cancel this. So now from there, moving on, we're going to have x plus 4 to be equals 3. So from there, we have x equals 3 minus 4. All right, so we have our result to be x equals minus 1. So we have our solution to be, to be minus 1. So now let's check whether what we have is right or not. By checking, so we have our question to be 1 over 3 to the power of x equals x plus 4. So now let's put the value of x. If you put the value of x, we have 1 over 3. x is minus 1, then equals what? We have a minus 1 plus 4. So now from here, you can see that this 3, 1 over 3 can be 3 minus what? Minus 1 from the law of indices, minus 1 equals minus 1 plus what? Plus 4. So now from there, you see that uh, minus 1 times minus 1 here. Minus 1 times minus 1 here will give us 1. So we're going to have 3 to the power of 1. You have 3, then equals what? Equals minus 1 plus 4. That gives us what? That gives us 3. So you can see that we show that the x satisfy the equation that is s equals one satisfy the equation and that's the end of the class if you enjoyed the class kindly share to your friends so they can learn from this thank you so much for watching bye